And so uh, I was in the New York Times, and I tried to explain that this was something I thought the president had to answer. The seniors, these changes in Medicare, what will happen to them? And, uh, and I made it sound like it's just a matter of explaining. And I actually got calls where seniors all over the country worked to find my telephone number, which is not easy. What did they leave on the voicemail? I want you to know I talked to my doctor and nurse, and they said you're going to be treated like welfare people if this bill is passed. Wow. Well, that's what the message comes out of physicians' offices and nurses' offices about, about this. This is going to have a very, very distinct issue. The majority of Americans, uh, in asked in the abstract, do not want Medicare reduced to pay for the overall bill. So here's an example where there is a very clear poll, poll finding over and over, and people in politics just walk right on by. We're going to take it out of Medicare and, 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 and do it. The, let me deal with the... the um, uh, 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 tax issues. Uh, this was discussed, and this is a, a problem in American uh, political uh, life. Americans love services for schools and health care. They do. It's extraordinarily popular. They, they really in, don't like paying for it. And so this is the tension of being a governor or a mayor or anything else in, the, in, in this world. You have people, you describe on Jim's show the terrible need for services, they are for it. You describe in the next hour the terrible need to raise revenues for the service, they're outraged. But it turns out we're in a much worse period for this. That is, I'm going to summarize a lot of uh, research, and it goes like this. The middle class in this country feel like they've been punched in the stomach. They have taken huge losses. Uh, investments, pension funds, saving for college, uh, the number of people not only who've lost jobs but whose wages are frozen, who have had hours cut back is just extraordinary. It turns out psychologically, regardless of how much you want health care reform and you need help, when your family is threatened, you become more cautious rather than more adventuresome. So uh, what happens is people who are keeping their life savings in a 1% uh, market money fund are not anxious to pay a lot of taxes now. And so what they're listening for is, I want health reform, I want change, I want everybody covered. What would you ask me to pay? And so what they like is wealthy people pay. That's good. <laughs> good. Good. Uh, I'll put that in a, a sophisticated statistical significant set it everybody, but it's good. Uh, how about you tax my uh, employer insurance? Well, this might have been a, an easier option if people were in better times. But people who have their wages cut and frozen and live in large cities, they are, they're just scared about anything that reduces that. The, so the tax on insurance hasn't done well. Uh, uh, ta uh, sin taxes are always... Uh, 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 good. I was the one uh, in the original uh, reform bill who suggested that they tax dog racing in the state and then they eliminated it. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought it was the only viable thing that would get new revenues uh, in, 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 into the bill. So the tax thing is really very hard and people are listening both taxes and whether or not their premiums are going to go up. The deficit is really an issue. It's an important issue to economists. It's not to the public, but it has been now because the newspapers keep telling people over and over that we have the largest deficit since World War II, and people are just scared. So they're listening about, should I worry about the deficit? Uh, let me ma mention malpractice reform because it's the classic example of where public opinion doesn't matter. That is, the number of Americans who say they want a uh, major malpractice piece in this bill equals the number who want a public option. Uh, and so why isn't it there? Because there are no champions among the leadership moving the bills. So people wave in front of me, why aren't you telling them the public option? That's what everybody wants. And I will. They do. But how about telling them they don't want Medicare cut and they would have a malpractice side? No, 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 no. Don't talk about that. So what you have is, is things showing up that are, are, are popular uh, for the elements. But I don't want to overdo this because what people are mostly in the final phase going to try to put it all together. So let me deal with Jim's second issue. Nobody... Uh, can follow experts. So uh, Dr. McCullen, any of my colleagues who present what this is about, it's impossible for the people I poll to understand. So what they do is they cue off people, others, what they hear on radio, television, uh, experts, their physicians, nurses, uh, groups that they belong to, they rely on intermediaries to form a judgment. So where are we on the judgment? So uh, where are we on the judgment? Well, at the moment, we've had an uptick where people, not overwhelmingly, so you have in these elements 60, 70% popular for various things. 
is this bill good for the country? It's being discussed. You're at the 53% level. It's hardly overwhelming, but at least there's been an uptick. But let me tell you, and I'm going to do this quickly. Remember I told you back in Clinton, every time you talk to people about uh, anything affecting their family in the Clinton bill, uh, more people said it would be worse than better, and the majority never said it would be better at all. It's exactly the same thing now. So what you have is, and I'll show you very quickly, and what's important to look at at the poll is they put, you must put in the bills that are being discussed, not health reform. Health reform is a popular concept. God, country, and health reform is widely <laughs> believed in. Uh, so, but we're not passing any of those three. We're passing a piece of legislation, and as we get close, people will judge the legislation, that the Clinton plan, the Obama plan, that, that will be there. So at the moment on every measure, if you say to them bills before the Congress administration, the majority don't say it'll be better for their family, and the majority say that if it'll change it, it'll be worse for their family. So this is the critical. So here's cost, this is quality. So uh, Dr. McCullough laid out all the elements in these bills that would improve quality, and the people I'm surveying don't believe it. Uh, they actually think there's going to be a deterioration if they think there's going to be a change. Now, it isn't because they don't understand accountable medical organizations and all of that. They're taking away things they hear or, or, or read. Uh, so here's the impact on seniors under Medicare. Uh, so uh, for this. Uh, here's the impact on taxes. So I told you the country is really nervous about middle income paying taxes. Well, regardless, and this is what happens, we have five committees debating the same thing. Each one has a different tax in it. And if you're at home, you're in Topeka, you're listening to the radio, you're just assuming everything you own will be taxed. The bill one is today, and bill two is that, and bill three, and then they're going to tax that, and maybe it's going to be a sugar benefit, and there's going to be that. So they just take away, my God, this is just going to be slamming me with, with, with new taxes. The answer is that's not correct. Most of these things are much more targeted. But in the final phase, if somebody doesn't tell them that, they're going to be reacting to the, this aggregate uh, of it. The, um, uh, what is the impact on you personally of these bills? Well, it kind of looks like Clinton from where I am. Two to one say they'll be worse off. Uh, and then the others will say no change at all. So this is the final phase. We have weeks and months to go, but if this were to be where the vote is, this is what swing congressmen would be told. They want reform, they don't like the bill you're, you're dealing with. I want reform, I don't like the bill uh, we're dealing with. So uh, this is exactly, so now I'm gonna teach you what to actually look at the, at the newspaper. So the most recent one, because the Globe carried it, was the Washington Post ABC, which emphasized increase for the public option, which is absolutely quite correct. At the bottom, uh, they join five other polling organizations, and it's always asked at the end, uh, uh, do you support or oppose, as you understand it, either the president's health care reform plan or the plans before the Congress? Well, you've now gone from 50, 60, 65, all these elements that are up there, there's not one of these plans that has majority support. The one that just came out yesterday uh, had 48% against, 45% for. So we're at, I want reform, 70%. Uh, I like the elements, uh, 60%. I like the bill, 40 some percent. So uh, that's what really counts. This slide is, is what really counts. That's the final debate. And they will not get it by reading the, the details. They'll read it by listening to people and trying to figure out what will happen to my taxes, my care, my ability to get in. So this is where Massachusetts gets to be very important. Let me just one more. So in, in politics, it, it, and this is very important when you're running campaigns, you pay attention to people who strongly support or strongly oppose because they are the activists in the campaign. And though more people want change than don't want change, and when you get down to the actual legislation, more people oppose the actual legislation strongly than strongly favor the legislation uh, that's there. So you have this very strong minority that really wants these bills killed. They just do uh, uh, for that. Uh, that majority at the moment, it's softened a bit, contains a disproportionate number of older seniors who are just unbelievably scared that where everyone is talking about public option because Medicare is a success, that the Medicare they have is about to deteriorate. 